Hello, hello. Stan's here, we're back. And we are going to keep playing some Noida here. So we're right where we left off here in Hell, where we were visiting the Hell shop, trying to get to the bottom of uh, this entire situation here, trying to find a Nala, per a uh, bit of advice we got in a comment. But I just realized something, that I think some of the slowdown that's happening with this drill is because by having bounce on here, this is actually the drill bouncing. So if we put a remove bounce on here, check this out. Now it doesn't do that. Hey, look, there's no like trailers being left behind. Now the problem is that if I put remove bounce, uh, if I take it off my other thing, we end up in a situation where I don't have it on my teleport wand, which is pretty important. Picking up bouncing spells was a bit of a setback, but at the time, early in the game, it actually made a lot of sense. So I think if I do this and I put it there, um, sure, the not having it, the bounce on here is going to be a, on the teleport wand is going to be a bit of a problem. But if I um, find, first of all, we know that there's another remove bounce somewhere above us. I swear I've seen it. It's around here. Uh, well, so we are going to look for that. But for now, I'm really just going to kind of explore through this shop and see if we can come up with the spell that we're looking for. Or potentially encounter, you know, the orb of true knowledge that we're looking for. It seems like we've already been around here. But like, yeah. Right now, I, I don't have the remove bounce on this thing, so it's sort of acting a little crazy and still being a little laggy. But once we find a second remove bounce, we're going to be golden with that. Speaking of golden, look at all these idols. All the cash we're putting out, pulling out of here, up to 20 million. Still going to take a long time before we hit that gold cap. Uh, but if we do find um, gold to um, gold to power, I think the name is the name of the spell. Then we'll we'll make sure we pick that up because that could be quite handy. We're still getting that massive eat your vegetables buff, and I'm thinking that one way we can continue to have that go is just by eating things like this. Like we are getting stomach if we eat. Uh, it's not adding to our satiation to eat this stuff. I'm like, how do I eat certain things in order to get... Yeah, see, this is getting giving me belly if I eat some of the enemies while we're out here. Not a lot of, of uh, stomach, but we do have to be aware of that because the more stuff we eat, the better off we're going to be for, run for running this buff, right? Either way, we're going to be getting to a point where our frame rate is going to improve. We are pretty low in hell at this point, so traveling this way may not be the most effective way to get to where we want to go, and it's certainly not going to show us a bunch of spells anymore. We seem to have left the, the shop itself. But there's no reason why I can't travel horizontally from here. Leave some of the gold behind, I know. It's a little lazy, but I'm trying to get to a specific spot. We hit that sheer wall, which is what we wanted, and I'm thinking that the hell shop should be up from here. Right? We follow along this. We should be okay. Now, once we get a little higher, we're gonna tinker around with some guiding powder. We can find the orb that's in hell. While we why we came down here, it's obviously there were several reasons, but one of the primary ones was to get that orb. So I'm fairly confident that it's above us. That's where we're going to want to run into it. And if we don't get a Nala here, you know, whatever. There's going to be other hell shops in the parallel worlds. Won't take us that long to go flying down there. I'd just rather buy it here instead of in the sky. There's too many mages in the sky. I'm not really uh, enthused about going back into the sky right now. But if my math is correct... This is the other shop. Yes, we found it. Plenty of spells up here. Not the spells we need, but some of them. Add trigger. Great. This all seems to be wrong, though. Hmm. Are there any more inside here?
Hmm. Water, wormy stuff. What does this thing do? Matosade. I think it summons a bunch of worms. Darn is right. These are not... This is a hell shop, yes. But it's not the right hell shop, because it is not giving us the spell we wanted. It's a smaller one, right? So we certainly didn't get what we were looking for. Alright, just do a second pass at it to make sure everything is in order. And no, we didn't find it. But up we go. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. There wasn't a Nala on either side. But there certainly will be when we go visit another hell. And we could even do that this episode, right? I mean, there's nothing to say no to that. Up, up, up we go. We'll start using that guiding powder. Somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, see, now, once you get over to this part, this is, like, there's more of a, there's another lava lake over to the right, and that's actually a good landmark to navigate by. I believe there's a curse of some sort up there. But yeah, I, um, having experimented with a little bit of removed bounce on our drill, fixed our frame rate issues, and that's important, because it, you have no idea how annoying it is to have your drill be impractical. I mean, like, look at this. And all I gotta do is this. I just go, uh, uh, uh. Now the thing will actually work just fine. Granted, I have to wait for all of these little things to filter away. And they're not really helping us doing that. Okay, but you see, like, look, the frame rate on it is totally okay. I mean, there's a minor slowdown to it, but... Alright, so the theory is that we shave a little off here, and uh, we make a little... We make a, just a basin somewhere, or this becomes a basin. See, this is it with bouncing, it's annoying. Our teleport wand is not exactly what we want right now. So, a little bit of Flamuxium down, and a little bit of unstable teleport on top of it. Okay, just a tiny, just a little... There it is. It's got like a few ideas, but it's, it says it's off this way to the left. It may have been kind of homing, but either way, that's enough. That was enough of an indicator to me that it was down this way. And we're just going to enjoy having a reasonable frame rate at this point, even if we can't properly teleport with this wand the way it is. Um, I'll take that over um, jacked up frame rate. Notice how it only took like a percentage or two of our of our potions to be able to take advantage of that, right? And I'm still able to kind of teleport with this thing. I mean, it's not great, but... Could it have been that the guiding powder itself was being a little misled? By, like, enemies nearby? It was homing of some sort? Well, let's see. This will help us triangulate a little bit if we pour here. That helps, you know, if we think about it, you know, just in terms of sounding, um, it's going to take two uses of it in order to really triangulate it. And granted, we're doing this by, like, finger navigation, right? It's the equivalent of, like, licking the your finger and sticking it into the wind. So 
Well, I think it's going to turn up over here pretty quickly. I think we are not far from it. I'll be going a little bit... Oof. That worm is brutal. Ow! Worm bites. Painful. Oof! Our teleport wand is totally borked at this point. But hey, we, there's only one uh, bouncy spell to go around. This is it. We found it. It pointed us to the place. And there is our orb. Beautiful. Okay, hey, that puts us at two. Eight. And we know, for a fact, that that is going to exist in the exact, exact same spot in every parallel world, right? So, should be more than... We should be more than capable of heading up, looking around for a second bouncing spells, or second remove bounce, right? So we have it on multiple things. I swear we saw one. I have a memory of it. I haven't gone back and looked at the footage exactly. Aside from, you know, the very basics of uh, editing to make sure everything's in order. Twenty-five million gold. And if we look carefully, this uh, was right near the top. This was not very deep into hell where our um, where our orb was located. Well, that's terrific. It will not be hard to locate it. And we're going to be able to kind of figure it out in relation to this. Because we just need to find where was my... Where's the hole that I dug down through the lava lake to get in here? It's around here. But no, we're going to make sure we grab all this. Now, it's a little wasteful, but in theory, I could be like, well, I'm going to go and open up another parallel world while I'm here. I don't know what good that's really going to do for us, but it is an option. If there were a couple more perks that we were missing, or just another greed. We don't have that immunity to toxic, and as we saw in certain biomes where I just now just get hurt for being hurt sake, uh, that uh, things that will help me be more immune to, say, poison, and other bad things will help me stay alive because we all saw in the last episode I nearly croaked and it was ugly I feel like I learned a lesson from that about just caution when it comes to exploring certain types of biomes I'm gonna assume that what actually happens is that certain biomes just destroy you like you go in there and you just lose half your life because you do. That is... could be something that happens in New Game Plus, because I don't remember that happening in the main world, but it's also could be that that biome doesn't exist in the in a, the regular world. Ow! Now where is our hole up? Where did we get down here from? Feels like I'm running into a rock wall and I missed it? Yeah. We have missed our way out of here. <laughs> our teleport wand. So ridiculous. It like bounces and then it homes towards something. We never found reduced lifetime. We never found a Nala. And yeah, we are absolutely not on the right track with this. But look! With our frame rate being fixed, we can actually dig like a reasonable person without the screen filling with a bunch of little green goobers that are slowing down the engine. So if we stay here, we're bound to encounter our way up. But we always want to use the same path up and down through hell. Because otherwise, um, who knows where we're going to come out. We just go up. I come out by Coley and be like, ooh, hi Coley, and 
Which I don't think would be a big deal if we don't pick up the salt or the equivalent of it. But I would rather just find where I first entered, because we know that that has already been lava to blooded and should be nice and safe. It's actually also full of concentrated mana, ironically. Okay, it really... It, I, I, somehow we just missed it. It should have been around here somewhere. Oh, we dig. And man, our drill is doing so much better by just putting Remove Bounce on it. I feel like I can play with it again without, like, I tap it a few times under the previous... There's our pathway. There we go. Perfect. Plenty of incidentally made concentrated mana. Shave some of this to make the path a little smoother. So who knows, maybe we'll want to come in through here again. There we go. Up we go. It's like everywhere I go, I'm like, um, remove bounce? Anywhere? Anyone? Okay, this is going to bring us up to the Temple of the Art. And I'm a little concerned that our um, that not having remove bounce up here could be a problem for our teleport wand. But as long as we're cautious, we don't go jumping into a bunch of uh, polymorphine or something stupid, we should be able to kind of explore this and, oh, that was a heartache that was shot at me, but it looks like I deflected it. Can I eat him? Yeah, mage is aplenty. Like, how much of this can be eaten? Give me belly. Yeah, there's food in here. If I just run around and consume bodies be able to keep my stomach going up. The reason why it wasn't working before water potion is that once we have eat our vegetables going, we no longer get any advantage from eating a drink. Oh, look at all that acid. Oh my. Okay. Let's heal through that. Mages, mages. Hey, a heart. Perfect. There is a master polymorph up there. Nuke orbit? Hmm. If we can assassinate that guy, we did. Clear out the trash. Can I eat this? Can I eat any of you? Yeah, it is giving me a little bit of fungal. So I am tripping. But that's okay. That's going to go away in a second. We don't want to trip just for tripping's sake. Okay. Up is up is up. Remove bounce, where are you? Wand. A different kind of thing. This is sparkly bounce. That's not the right kind of bounce. I know we saw a remove bounce somewhere, though. So. And I'm just too lazy to look at the footage and deconstruct every part of it to go, all right, where is it? It could just be for sale in a wand, you know, and it's like, oh, it's on that. This is remove something. Null shot. Increases duration dramatically, removes all damage and explosion from it. Well, we... <laughs> We don't want the duration going up. Okay. Nothing there. Nobody home. Reloads are up to 8 million. A little bit pricey for me. Alright, up to the vault. It could have been in a wand up here. 
who knows. So while we're passing through, we're going to be checking all sorts of wands. I'm hoping to find it. Because I'm telling you, having this drill work again, so nice. Absolutely no reason to have bounce on it. Having those little pieces linger behind, completely unnecessary. And it isn't helping us at all. Now, a case can be made for, like, well, you know, is a frame rate drop really a problem? Does it give me more time to react mentally? Could I like it, the game, to be slower? The answer is no. I don't like it. It just actually just is, makes it awkward. So. We're going to continue to snoop around. Want this heart? Always cast add mana is cool on a spell on a wand, but the stats were a little underwhelming. Freezing vapor definitely still hurts us. There might be a perk somewhere that creates a little bit of immunity to that. Let's get rid of this acid hole. Never a good thing. We're definitely further off to the right than we would normally be. This looks like blood and stuff like that. I wonder if I ate, like, meat that, if that would add a lot to my tummy. But we're just kind of aware of the need to, like, continue to consume organic material at this point. None of it can make me sick. And it's just adding a lot to our... Um, to our eating of the vegetables, right? Wands. Wands may have what we want, and we're up into the jungle. Beautiful. Nothing there. 29 million. A decent amount of organic stuff in here. Apparently I can drink the slime too. I can drink, eat all of this. We don't want to spend too much time messing around consuming things when we have um, other fish to fry, how should we say. Okay, that's a spell reload, but I think we're pretty good on those. I could grab it, but it just, ooh, excuse me, fellas. That weird thing that fell. Okay, don't know what that is, but there's blood everywhere. Ah, uh, you know, what, what, whatever. One of these is a good thing to have. There. Make up a little room. Now those, I think, bleed something horrible. And we are getting near a meat biome on the right, so let's not do that when we're ill-prepared for such things. looking like what we want is to go to probably the eastern parallel world is what I'm going to do, because if you recall correctly, we left something behind up there. We left that temple, um, the pyramid one, uh, orb of true knowledge behind. It wouldn't hurt for us to quickly grab that. But we are going to need to take a, a minute to reload our concentrated mana. Which is just fine as we're on our way up. Any kind of remove bounce in here? No. Just a heavy shot, though. Not too shabby. An extra heavy shot could be good, but... It's this biome where I tend to... Wow. Where I tend to like to make lots of concentrated mana. There's plenty of water around in here. So let's find a nice pool. 
and get it drank on up. That's probably a little too small. There's plenty of water in this biome, so... And water begets water. Nothing there with that. Concentrated mana begets it, I'm trying to say. We make some, and then it starts flowing, and it makes its way into something else. Because 3,000 seconds, not going to get it done. Ooh, I did not scoop up enough of this. Let's see how much more we can pick up. We need a little bit to create another wave of it. And there is water all around. A little bit of blood, too, while we're at it. But I shave the top of this part off. This isn't much to work with, though. Let's find, let's find a little bit of a better pool. Definitely want to be under the base. There can be much more water here. See how stupid it is? It, like, bounces, and then it's like, huh? Ow. Add mana! Eh? Add mana. We, pl we use add mana. So. Anything we can chuck around here? I feel like we have more crit than is ever going to be needed. Like, the, the wand is always going to crit. Hey, there is a decent pool. This might satisfy our needs. I can get in there. There we go. I mean, this isn't great, but it's big enough, right? There's plenty of blood in it, too, but we'll just drink the blood and no one cares. We just kind of drink the middle part that's siphoning into us. We'll kind of get rid of it. Yeah, it's like, well, this is blood now. That's fine. Blood landed in here. No one cares. Blood consumed. My stomach doesn't matter. Iron Stomach perk is like, gotta be one of my favorite new perks. If you all remember who've been watching this series, when I first got it, I'm like, ooh, but that might prevent things from me eating horrible stuff. But it's certainly not going to prevent me from exploding. And it's like, yes it does. There's no explosion. Oh cool. Was it, Could it have been in here? Could it have been in this groovy room? Long distance cast? Sure. Ooh, this is a nasty biome too. Let's not... Maybe I'll just slip into this eyeball room. Nice and quiet. Didn't have the spell I wanted. But it's kind of interesting effect how it gets quiet. That looking like some more water we can work with. Maybe here? Not really. The ice like crushes the water in some strange way. Let this water flow down. See where it all lands. Down here at the bottom, which is not quite what we need. Do you have the spell I need? No. No, you do not. Okay, well, we'll go up. We have several things we want to do, so there's really no... Nothing holding us back from pursuing... What is this stuff, by the way? Bloody ices? Yeah, that doesn't do us any good to try to eat that. We appear to be in a kind of a heasy base biome. First of all, what does this thing do? Concentrate explosion. Hmm. Not sure that's what we need. Anything from you? Nope. Sometimes I like the personal gravity field with the exploding wand, but I don't think we need to mess with that just right now. Our explosion wand is working just fine for our needs.
Is there anything else we can eat around here? Really should have taken a moment to eat that, uh, one of the, like, vats of meat in the vault. Maybe when we head down in the parallel world? You know, and who knows, it's already been a half hour and probably won't have time to do all of that. But maybe we'll find some more vault in the vault like that and we can eat that. Okay, no remove pounds here. And the perks we've already picked up. But you know what's here is one of our favorite easy piles of water to work with. Kill the fish, the stuff. And this water from the mountain, uh, Holy Mountain, is super easy. I'm going to go up a little bit to try to get the blood. We can get separate that from our concentrated mana. We're up to 4,800. Sorry, fish. Oh, I can just drink the last of this. And I guess I eat the powders, too? Powders themselves, so if I'm eating the sand, it's not doing anything. That is not giving me stuff. But what happens if I eat the fish? The fish are, are filling up my stomach. Ah. Okay. Let's remember that going forward. We're going to eat the godfish. Clever. Was that enough water to work with? I guess. We'll see if there is more going up. Could try looking around a little off the beaten path here. See if we find some more wands. We're taking a moment to always drink this little bit that's on the ground. It's like if it's too shallow for us to scoop up with our bottle, then it's totally fine for us to just consume. There's a crit in here, but I really feel like we're gonna crit. We have proven that we are critting. We've stacked, like, whatever, four crit perks. This is the kind of, of um, water that we want. This is a big enough pool for me to get crazy with it. Pretty pure water, as long as my homunculi don't bleed into it. From the rage levitation, it's such a terrible interaction. Everywhere I go, ugh, ugh, ugh. Just dumb. So this is good. There's tons of mana in this little part here. We needed to push that nu that number up. It was it was getting a little low for my taste. It'll never empty the bottle, of course. Get the bottle pretty much full again, and then we can just scoop up the rest with our hand. Bouncy spell. Nothing there. These are pretty low-level spells at this point. Hard wall. Look at that, though. It's like I'm drilling again. Look, Mom. I'm drilling like a reasonable person instead of a lag fest. I kind of put it together when someone was like, uh, it's it's all the drills doing something. That's what's doing it. I'm like, well, I don't know. But that was a very helpful comment. Because it's like, okay, the guy had a great point. The, or the woman, I don't know their gender. I don't mean to, whatever. All I'm saying is that they're like, you could put invisible on it. Which involves, in order to put invisible on it, I think we had to mess around with, like, the, um... What am I trying to say here? We'd have to mess around with the doing things in the tree and like playing music and all of that nonsense. That's that's too much on Stenz's brain. We're like, uh huh, I can't even process how that would work. But first of all, is this a wormhole? But it would be nice. Basically, it it by hearing that it taught me a valuable lesson, which it was like, you know what? What it really is is there's too much being rendered. 
that's that's what's happening. I doubt we're gonna find remove bounce here. But I swear it's gonna be a lot easier to travel through those parallel worlds once I uh now that my drill is like not super laggy, like we'll be able to travel a lot quicker. And we still have a, a totally messed up teleport pole. Let's let's not pretend that like suddenly that everything like that is working. It's not working. It's still jacked up. But I'm just gonna make a little service tunnel right here. So we can leave this up. We are in the basic world, so this overworld should be nice and safe. Now, I think there used to be a pond here in the regular world, but it doesn't exist in New Game Plus. Oh, no, it does. It absolutely does. Look at that, folks. Well, the pond is real. The fish seem to be missing. But how about... Like, granted, we're not going to sit here and be like, Okay, guys, we we'll just drink this. Well, I say that, and I'm like, but let me drink some of it. Let's at least put this up to whatever. Like a homunculus just drowning next to me. It never hurts to take, whatever, a few seconds to load this up. Because this, this pond is probably going to be our main, our main drink for all of this for a while. Like there, now we know there's no reason to even have to mess around with other water. One thing I haven't thought about, guys, would be putting doing this in the <laughs> in the lake. It's so much water; it's a silly idea, but could be kind of cool. What do you say we just at least get this to ten thousand? Won't take too long. Give me the time I need and feel confident with the amount of concentrated mana coursing through my veins. Because I'm like, oh, we're never going to run out. It's endless. I even titled a video like that. It's not endless. And I was properly called out in a comment. It's definitely not endless. Like, 10,000 seconds is like, you experience that as a, a regular passage of time. <laughs> is not uh, going to max out. But I believe he said that uh, one of the big creators for this game that I'm vaguely aware of um, found the, what that maximum number is. And it's something that is way more than we're actually going to do. So, just to put good measure so we're well above 10,000. Take a few more swigs here. Yeah, that's fine. And off we go. We know and remember that we left an orb behind in the parallel world. And we can certainly do something like this for now. It's like we're sharing <laughs> we're sharing a remove bounce, people. Hmm. I have to like Press tab, move it up here between these two places. Embarrassing. I wonder if the boss exists up here, but I'm afraid to even mess with him. I don't know what whether fighting him is even going to be worth anything for me, or if he even exists in New Game Plus. We killed him once earlier. I feel satisfied with that. I wish we would have found a remove bounce as we were passing through here, but maybe it's in the parallel world. I know I saw one. I swear I saw another one somewhere and went like, oh, I already have that, and walked away from it. Go figure. Something that's like something I would do. Okay, there's all my lava blood in here. <laughs> I mean, uh, my slime blood, I should say. We're adding more to it. Beautiful. Love the music freaking out. As if I was in some sort of actual danger. Of course I'm not. Well, I'm about to be in actual danger, because we're going to be passing through this. 
I'm pretty sure there is a orb in the lake somewhere, but it is so far down there and I have no idea where it is. That's going to be a battle for another day. By swimming under the surface here, we're hoping that the overworld evilness doesn't see us. Because remember, we're in a parallel world right now, so let's be absolutely sure that we don't do anything stupid. Like traveling above ground and then getting annihilated. And as we see here, I have to, in order to make this work better, first of all, we already dug a tunnel. Right? So shouldn't I be able to just use this to kind of get through? Yeah, we use the same tunnel we already made. If I go along the top, I can probably teleport and we'll be speeding up our way in back to this parallel world. We're going to be going back and forth between these parallel worlds a lot, right? So we better get used to this path. Make sure it's Nice and clean. That's looking a little overworldy above me. I don't like that. I need that earth above me to feel safe. Little bits of this is okay if I just tap it. leftover coins. Alright, it's dark out, so kind of hard to see up here. You know, considering we're at the 42 minute mark, we're probably not going to get all the way down to hell, but it wouldn't hurt to just sort of take a look through some of the wands we left behind. Try to jog our memory of like, where was that removed bounce? Was it here? Was it in this world? Was it in the western parallel world? Or was it in the eastern one? Don't know. But one thing we can do too is go get that pyramid while we're here. I mean, we know that that's, we know where an orb is over here. Oh, something is shooting at us. There is a bad guy is a boss above us and see he's, he's firing away but we seem to have given him the slip because we are now in an actual biome collapsed mines good that looks like a master of polymorph just hanging out down here I wonder how we missed him the first time. The service tunnel of mine seems to continue on. So maybe it ends right around here? Yeah, there's some guys. Hmm. Duck on a pixel. Do we even take a moment to look at these low-level wands? I don't think they're really going to bring much to the table. We're certainly not going to be finding removed bounce up here. I'll tell you what we can do is by getting up here. We're now we now know, we know we're on the top, right? So if I take remove bounce off of my teleport wand and I put it here so that I can actually dig like a reasonable person, we sh it shouldn't be that hard for us to dig straight over to the pyramid. We need to get it at some point. Why? Not? What? What better time than now? Okay, this looks kind of a weird, hard wall. Notice how I can just hold this down now and make a, a tunnel without the game slowing down. I mean, there's a minor frame rate drop for this because they're whatever we are still shooting. 10 drills or 11 drills at the same time. That's okay. But it is not, um, it's not chug like we were experiencing. So how long is it really going to take to get over to the pyramid from here? If we stay just below the surface. That's going to take a couple minutes. It's nothing. 
I gotta go up a little bit so that I know where we are. Don't want to go too late. East Desert, good. We're on the right path. Air feels hot, sure. And to do this nice and safe, we're going to basically approach the... Ooh, this is a little... We're a little exposed here, folks. Okay. Okay. Looking for the pyramid. It's got to be coming up here. One thing we're not seeing in New Game Plus was the Watchtower. That's just um, not... doesn't exist. So, and there's our... Uh, can I even kill that thing? Wouldn't it be nice to just, like, kill him? And not have to even deal with that? Doesn't look like he's dying to whatever I'm doing. He's somewhere up there, and I don't want to be Popeye, but I'm just saying that what I would love to just be like, okay, get rid of him. If we knew that we could fight those overworld bosses, that would be a heck of a advantage. We'd just be able to be like, okay, I don't care, and we'd end him. East Pyramid, this is what we came for. Carve our way over nice and safe to the very top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least these are all these orbs are always in the same spot. Now granted, we're gonna have to be particularly vigilant about healing from the uh, uh, forbidden knowledge heart. Excuse me. Oh, we still have lava to blood on this thing. <laughs> Whatever. Get it to fall, nice and safe-like. We grab it from just the tip, and while we slip away... Ooh, see, look! It worked! What is this thing called? Extra max hit points. But it's like... It's lying. It's not extra max hit points. I'm not gonna grab it. I don't want it. Ow. That's it. So, the advice that the guy online said... The me the 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 person in the comment section was like, "Dude, you can grab it." I'm paraphrasing. He didn't sound like this at all. I'm sure he had a completely different voice. Um, you can grab that heart and not take the get the the massive poison on you if you just kiss it from the side. Paraphrasing once again, allegedly. And he was right. He just just tapped the, the side of it and then left and nothing bad happened so awesome that put us to nine orbs and that means we've gotten all six of the easy ones right which is the the one the like the one at the new game plus the the game over spot there's always an orb. A place where you beat the game. Above the starting location. And there's always one above the pyramid. So we got two from the main room. Or two from the main. Two from the east parallel world. Two from the west. And that's just done. Now we don't have to go back here. We are going to end up going back here because, of course... There's other orbs of forbidden knowledge all around. But what we want is to go down, snoop around wand-wise, pick up a little cash, have have a few laughs in this parallel world. We're not really looking, we're not going to be using our guiding powder or any of that. We're just going to get the one orb from hell when we can. And we're mostly looking for remove bounce again. And then, once we go down to hell, we're going to visit the hell shop on the left and the right, looking for that spell that we want. The, it's a spell modifier, I believe, Nala. And it, what it does is it really dramatically lowers the duration of the spell you're casting. So it's going to turn my teleport wand into like a bzz, real fast. And then, it, I guess, if I hold it down... 
wormholes. If I hold it down, we're going to really be cruising. According to the bit of information that I received about this. But while we're here, you know, doesn't hurt to A, drink that, and look around at the various wands that we're going to see for remove bounce. We're not trading remove bounce between two different things. I want to drink this because I can. Good. No remove bounce here. Sea of water, sure. Double checking for perks in case it's like, oh, hey buddy, you left your perks behind. And maybe you want to reload that. I also like the idea of killing these fish every time. Just like kill the fish, they drop. They're full of meat. So if I come down here and eat them, we're getting stomach just from me consuming the godfish. But we do want to, like, keep our stomach happy. We've lost some stomach, and uh, the higher we have keep stomach, the higher, the better off we're going to be with our Eat Your Vegetables perk, as covered in a previous video. So there's mobs around. Cash in there. There's a heart. Pick that up. Close to getting over our 10k that we want. It's just a milestone that feels good to get. Oof, don't want that on me. Move bounce. No. Move bounce. No. Still cautious stuns, like there could be bad liquids around. There is no reason to do anything crazy here. Homing with tons of nukes. Interesting. Interesting. I have I I have mixed feelings about nuke. Um, it's really kind of an emergency spell in my opinion. It's just not my cup of tea. But we're gonna pass on any sort of bizarre nuking. I'm, you know, anti nuke. But that. Oh, we already looked at that. If that makes sense. Repairing wands is a thing that I guess you can do at the anvil, if I recall correctly. Something we can look into another time. We are reaching a bit of the home stretch on this episode. No, we weren't. We didn't really accomplish everything we wanted to do. But we got an orb. And. I can drink that warm blood, but there's just not much in there to do much with. I'm just going to head down. Here is Holy Mountain. Holy Mountain that we exploded. Is there a remove bounce in any of this? No. Triple Displacement, Triple Spell, Linear Arcs, Critical Oiled Enemies, Homerigger Teleport, not my thing. Okay, nothing in this holy mountain. Down we go to the Heesey base. A little bit unexplored in certain elements. This is a really good biome to take advantage of the Kaboom Boom Wand when we're surrounded by bad guys like this. Just to get more trick blood money. But of course, we have to sacrifice a little bit of frame rate to do it. A little bit. <laughs> it's kind of an understatement, yeah? Remove bounce, remove bounce. We are asking the fortunes for such a spell at this point. Heck, I'd take a chainsaw while we're at it, too, so I could work with this a little better. Turn this thing into something slightly more reasonable. I might be able to turn this down, too, because, like, look at this. Like, is that really... It's like stents. It's breaking the brickwork and turning it into dust everywhere. Nope. 
Oh, there's an ad mana in here, though. I don't know how many more of those we really need. There's a guy with a wand. Water to poison. Very dangerous seeming spell. Just want this heart. Hey, over 10k now. Why are you immune to damage? You carrying something funny, guy? Doesn't look like it. This guy's carrying something funny. Should teleport me through. It's just a healing wand. Okay, 29 million gold we're up to now. Yeah, so I figured as much. Somebody around here is throwing a lot of Ambrosia around, given that immunity. We don't want that. Blow this up. I press this and I just, like, take my hands off the keyboard for a second. A great opportunity to let go. Guys, fellas, hello. Everyone? Good morning. Look at all this down here. This thing's not quite ready to pop, but when it is, uh, there's a lot of guys who are currently immune. Find the bad one. Hit him with it. Get the money. This is a wand with the, without the right spell. Okay. Over here, let's just, just do this. Do some of this. Maybe most of these guys are immune to it. Ooh, and it just never stops. Hey, and a heart. What a mess. Like we're gonna crash here. We're not, though. There's that horrible meat biome to our left. As I cross into it, yes, my health goes all the way down just by walking into it. So that seems to be an interaction within the New Game Plus. You step in and you become severely wounded. So we'll have to be aware of that whenever we want to enter these places. That we just go down to 2,000 some life. Maybe it drops us down to like a third of our life. Not sure what the math is about that. Comment below if you understand it. You can help teach me what the heck was going on there. It's definitely something out of Epilogue 2. Because this certainly was not part of the game before. I don't remember any of that. But it makes me just not want to go in there. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It makes me extremely wary of entering such locations. Okay, and we are on the home stretch of this episode. A little routine, right? You know, a little bit of, uh, just, you know, uh, as they say, uh, chopping wood and carrying water. I'm gonna eat these corpses, by the way. One here. Just to fill that belly with some PC guys. That little meat that we need. Keep our stomach nice and full. I'll just blow this up because I can. Trick blood money, always good. It'll help me heal a little bit. Hey, there's some Flamoxium over there. Interesting enough. Probably a potion burst. What about you? Always cast freezing stuff. That's another way to kind of get through a lava. This over here could be an eyeball biome, too. It is. What if this has? Remove bounce. That's not. That's not. Worth a check, though, right? Up to 30 mil. Nothing there. Spells to power. Another one of those spells that crashes my game. Haven't figured out how to use that one yet. Those usually indicate that there's a shop, which we have now found. Why we want this is because this has a shield. Shield is always going to be helpful for us. Let's throw something away. Maybe this... Uh, 
the rip dip 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 this add life increased lifetime like why and let's put this somewhere hmm Put it on this. Okay. Yeah, more shields to help us while we're porting around. There's really no reason not to grab a shield. Okay, well, as soon as we find uh, whatever hole we dug here, we're going to head down to the next area. No mountain there so we missed it let's mess around oh there's our there's our pathway up maybe it's in one of these ones no 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 and no and nothing left behind here okay well that's fine because we're just going to pick this up where we left off in the next episode and uh continue our way down we're going to end up searching all the way down to hell Looking around in this whole area, try to find that second remove bounce, see if we can remember. Maybe look at some old footage in the meantime. Don't have to keep you guys around while I Zapruder film the whole thing, trying to remember where I saw that. Um, but aside from that, once we get down to hell, I'm expecting we're going to find it in one of the shops. The Nala that we're looking for. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And that will allow our teleport wand to be a lot cooler, and maybe... It will make it so that we don't even need remove bounce on it. Something to consider. It probably needs both. Probably needs both. So that's something that we're going to be figuring out for the next episode. And I appreciate all of you sticking around. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy all this content. I've had a lot of fun making it for you guys. And I want to continue to do so. So I will see you all in the next episode. And have a good night.